Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in to an episode from Second Sun Woodworks. My name is Caleb and today I'm going to show you how to do basic maintenance on my Steel MS-271 Farm Boss. I will be cleaning the entire saw including the air filter and sharpening the chain. I will also show you what to do if your chainsaw floods. Stay tuned. It's a good idea to clean your saw on a regular basis, if not after every use. To do this I begin by removing the guide bar, the shroud cover, and the air filter. I will be washing the air filter with hot water and soap off camera and then using compressed air to dry it off. You can see here that once you have taken off the shroud cover, you can access the spark plug. If the engine was flooded, I would remove the spark plug and drain any gasoline that had accumulated within the engine. This excess of gasoline prevents the spark plug from sparking and igniting the engine. I would also dry the spark plug off. Give these few tips a try next time your engine floods. At this point, I begin cleaning the entirety of the chainsaw using an old toothbrush, a paper towel, and compressed air.
As I mentioned before, I used hot water and soap to clean the air filter off camera, and then I used my air compressor to dry it off. After that, I reattached the shroud cover. It's a good idea to turn the guide bar over every time you sharpen the chain to avoid one-sided wear, and that's especially important for the nose and the underside of the bar because those are the spots that get the most wear and tear when you're using the saw. So flip over the bar every time you sharpen the blade or the, the chain. After reattaching the guide bar and chain, I used a few hand clamps to clamp the saw to my workbench. I used one clamp on the bar to keep it from moving up and down, and another on the handle to keep the entire saw from moving side to side. I then released the chain lock. To sharpen the blade, I used the basic file and guide that meet the specifications of the chain I have on the saw, so make sure you match the size of the file and guide with that of the blade you plan to sharpen. This guide holds the file and includes angle markings that help ensure you correctly move the file across the chain blade. I then used the appropriate file gauge to determine whether or not the chain pitch needed to be reworked and filed down. Since this is a newer blade, I didn't need to do any filing. I then added some fresh chain oil and filled the engine with Steel's Moto Mix, which is a high performance premix fuel. Then I took the saw outside and fired it up. I hope you found this episode of Second Sun Woodworks to be useful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't, and check out all of my other videos. Head over to my Instagram and Facebook to see projects uh, as they are happening in real time. And uh, like I always say, build something cool.